Abba na haba ujasa kibaba. That means a little by little will fill a big container. Meaning that people should come together, somebody give a little, somebody else give a little, and then we can accomplish a big thing. Uh, my vision for this is that, is that I have an imagination, a dream that if this program, uh, this program moves like that, if, this, if the technology partnership is going to grow at that late, with all your support, the support of many other people in the United States, the support of many other people here in Kenya, uh, it's going to, to bring, first it's going to bring a big growth within the men. It's going to bring transformation. You can see, you have gone to the, to the, to the classrooms and you find that uh, and the people are still using the old methods of teaching using the chalk and the blackboard. So my vision is we are going to come, we are going to come at a time, soon or later, maybe about five years to come or some uh, ten years to come, whereby, whereby you go to the classroom and you find that the students and the pupils and the teachers, the, the, the classroom is, is technological. There are things like there's smart boards, there's a laptop here, there's a projection, lessons are, are high tech and the children doing learning here, they can collaborate in learning with other students in the other parts of the, of the world and they will get to know more of the outside world as the outside world get to know more of Meru. So it's, it, it, will be, it will be bringing Meru to the world and taking Meru to the world. Little by little, we're all, we're all giving ourselves our knowledge. We're, we're yeah. with the people that we meet, we're yeah. all yeah. For, the, for the common good, and we fill it up. And it, for everyone, exactly, for exactly. You have, you have, he has given a practical, a practical, real situation, giving an example to you people. Now, you people, you want them to do one big thing, but he has given a ritual contribution, a ritual contribution, a ritual contribution, a ritual, and the whole height of you and myself and the driver. Now we have made big things happen. Yes, because one, <laughs> of, and it's a and thing that one of us could not do. Yeah, one of you could not do. Yeah, and that's why everywhere we go, people say, "Please come again. I want a connection. I come again." Because you know, they see the, the whole force of us saying, all of us singing the same song that we want to make things better. Is you can't resist that. It's, it's, it's great. Or when you go to a school like yesterday you were at Kara, you do your part. You are filming, you are recording, you are blogging, you are doing, you are, someone is teaching. Yeah. Good example. Very nice. A day and day is coming when the use of technology, when the uh, when the use of technology uh, is going to permit not only in towns, as, not only in towns, but also in the rural areas. It is going to change the way we teach. It's going to change the way many people do business. It is going to it is going to integrate Kenya into the world of technology and they're able to do commerce. They're able to do trade. Uh, we read in the papers that some some of these developing countries are away back. Uh, in terms of development because they are not able to integrate into a world of commerce because they are not they, 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 they are backward in terms of technology so they are going to, to be integrated in the use of uh, e-commerce is going to bring wealth better understanding prosperity but above all peace to the world because that's important that is the that is the great vision uh, i have in fact uh, uh, I'm dreaming of a day that when I visit to these schools, I will just from through the window, I can see a teacher projecting a lesson. I can see a teacher helping the, key, the kids find suitable content materials over the internet. I can see, I would love to go and find some kids in the classroom are actually doing a video conferencing with other students in a school like in the United States. It was going to be fabulous. <laughs> the first day that you introduced us to all the schools. Yes. Can you talk about your, your recollection yeah. of that day and maybe what you were feeling? Because mm -hmm. I know that it was, it was a big day for, for all of us. Yeah, it was a big day for you, okay, and it was, it was a big day for me. Because I was bubbling with excitement, I was bubbling with a sense of achievement because 
I wanted my students, my teachers, I wanted people to see a lily, there is value in making friendship. That day my mind was fully on the impact on the power of friendship. Because I wanted the student to know when they grow up, some of them will go to study abroad. Some of them will go out of the country. Uh, do you have the social skills to connect with the people, share with them and be friends and this friendship can result something? Because I was very keen to tell them I started my friendship with this one, it connected to this one, it connected to this one, like that, like that. Because I wanted the kids and the teachers to know the value of appreciating one another and the value of keeping a good friend because the friendship can result to a big thing.